Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is Amoris Dimba. Today we are going straight to RIBA placement in columns in this model here. Please follow me keenly and closely while I take you through this presentation. Before we start, we will switch on, we will switch on to 3D plane. Zoom closer. Uh, as you can see, in this model we, we've placed quite a lot columns and beams. So the remaining ones we will be placing one by one till we wind up with this model presentation. Okay, let's go on with placing the ribbons. Just come over here and, and click that. The applications and the components. Under this ap application component dialog box, you can either type bar or type 77, which is the number given to RIBA reinforcement, which is here, 77, or you can type bar. So this 77 is a, is a number allocated for bar reinforcement in the program. So the moment you type 77, this will, po will pop up all the components given that same number. So among these, you'll pick the one that you really wanted to use in your model. So for us, we wanted to use pad footing. We will click on pad footing reinforcement and uh, come and place it here. Just click on click to disable that command. Cl close it. Come to navigation. Try to rotate. There you are. Now, what is remaining in this column? Are the main bars for the column and uh, the starting the starter bars for footing right click and disable that we go to applications and component we type bars we scroll down click and scroll down here we will find starter bars for pillars we have strip footing reinforcement. We want starter bars for footing. We'll click that and come and place it there. Right click, come again, click. It's not coming up. Undo. We want to default to this because all starter bars must, all our columns are the same. 400 by 400. We'll double click on this starter bar for footing. Just close that. So it's not what we require. Click on click on that. We'll apply on the okay K for us to default on this. Now we'll come there and click. Come here on, on the pad footing. Click. Undo. Come again and click. Undo. There you are. You've placed your starter bar for footing. Now, what, i what is remaining here that we really need the most are the bars for the, for the main column. The same thing, we need the same bars, the same startups or ties. We'll double click on, the, on that. We will default on that. Or we can come here and type column. Column. Click inside and scroll down. We'll use number, th number 57, which is column automated reinforcement layout. Click on, on that. Come here and click there on the column. You've placed your your ribbons for the for that column. Close that. Come to navigate, for you to navigate around your model. Just turn around and check. Same you can do here. Just go to application and components button and type column, and there you are. You pick and come and 
select your column right click to disable that command on your column what you're lacking now is the starter buffer footing you go back to just type you, you go back to application and component just type 77 or just type again bars just click inside and scroll down you will find starter bars footing alongside its number 87 you can also just type you can also type 87 but this comes once you've used tecla uh, for quite a bit of time and uh, got used to all these numbers so instead of just writing the letters you can also write the numbers so uh, whatever you require you require will just pop up and you select what, whatever you want now we'll click star bar footing for uh, star bars for footing we'll click that we come here and click our pad footing is not picking up and do click click there is not picking up again click there come back again right there and do that there you are the starter bars has been placed you can close that you can go back again before we start copying this to the rest of the columns we want to place our starter bars our starter bars but you can also start with either you can start with the main column bars or start with starter bars for footing or start with the footing bars okay we can start off by placing our starter bar for footing by just clicking on the pad footing there right click and to disable that command you come down here and and go for pad footing click that just come and click there you've placed all, all that you can go back to column column go to column let's type column click inside and scroll down we'll pick that for our column and click on your column is not picking up click there right there right click to disable that command close this now navigate around you can see you've placed your footing bar your starter bar for footing and your and uh, column bars are all in place so instead of going forth on and forth we can copy these to the rest of the columns because footings and column sizes are the same now now what we will do we'll pick our footing press control and pick our starter bar press control and pick our main bar right click and copy pick it from here from that corner we want to place it in, in this same same corner there you are you've placed your column you can do we can do the same for this column also we can do the same for this column not that let's select another one we can do the same for this but after rotating this right click disable the rotation command place this here can place this here can place this one here can place this one here 
can place this one also here you can do like this for all the columns since our uh, pad footing and the column sizes are the same just place it there place this one here Place this one here. Place this one here. Place this here. Just zoom. And this is the beauty of pressing the control tool to make all everything um, to make the column and slab and the slab transparent for you to have a clear visibility of every part you're working on or you intend to work on. Just place it from that corner. Just place this here. Just this one here. Right click, disable that command. We will wind up here and continue with the rest in the next episode.